Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to make Pochita from Chainsaw Man. Pochita only appears in a few scenes, but already has a cult status in the fandom world. Please be aware that this is not a character suitable for kids, but of course you can easily adapt this tutorial to make any plushie you want with a similar body shape. If you make a lot of plushies, then be sure to keep on watching because I came up with a new method for making legs that's incredibly quick and effective. The hardest part of this DIY was actually finding socks in the right color. Pochita is normally depicted with reddish brown fur, but a lot of the merch also shows him being orange. I have a massive collection of fluffy socks, but nothing at all in those shades. The only one I had was this bright neon orange, which doesn't show up well in camera, but it's actually far too intense in real life. I ended up having to order a new set from Amazon, because it seems that orange socks are surprisingly rare. The first step to this DIY doesn't even involve any sewing. We're just going to grab a big ball of polyester stuffing and push it into the sock. By big, I really mean big, as you can see here. These socks stretch a lot more than you'd expect, and part of the secret to making sock plushies is to always use more stuffing than you think you need. It's also important to add your stuffing all at once, which creates the smoothest shape. If you start adding smaller pieces after the main one, then that's always going to produce lumps. Once you're happy with the body shape, take a small piece of stuffing about the size of a strawberry and roll it into a ball with your palms. Then stuff it inside the sock until it creates a small bump like this. Repeat it with another ball until you've got four evenly spaced out bumps that look a bit like legs. Trim off the extra fabric, leaving a few centimeters by the opening. If you're new to making sock plushies, then I highly recommend watching this video, which covers the basic sewing techniques in detail. Using the right stitching method makes a huge difference to how fast and how clean the final plush looks. Right now, I'm going around the opening once with a running stitch and then pulling it closed like a drawstring. Then I'm going to secure the knot and exit through a different part of the plush. This method lets you hide the thread perfectly and makes the final piece look more professional. Now it's time to make the legs. Sewing and attaching legs was always my least favorite part of plushie making because it's so boring and time consuming. However, this method makes it a lot easier. Lift up one of the stuffing balls and wrap the thread firmly around the base. Then add a few stitches to fix it in place and you're basically done. The only thing you have to keep an eye out for is that the legs should all be the same size and positioned symmetrically on the body. To make Pochita's tail, I'm going to use the extra bit of orange sock fabric. I'm turning it inside out and then drawing on a triangle shape like this. Now I'm going to backstitch along the line, leaving a small opening on both sides. Then I'm using the hole to turn everything the right way around. To make Pochita's chainsaw ring, we're going to use a simple black hairband. Cut it open and thread it through the tip of the tail. Be sure to stitch the hairband into the sock, however it doesn't have to be neat because no one is going to see this. Now the chainsaw string is firmly attached. Sew the tail onto the body using a ladder stitch, which is alternating one stitch on each side. For the handle part, we're going to use black felt fabric. Just fold it in half and cut out a triangle shape. If you're not sure about doing this freehand, then you can always create a paper template and then trace it onto the felt. Then glue the base onto the hairband. Because there's a slight curvature here, I'm going to hold this into place until the glue has mostly dried. Now it's time to make the chainsaw. I had this empty box on my table, which is actually from the next video. This type of cardboard is perfect and very cheap to find. Sketch out a chainsaw shape and then cut it out. The upper part should be slightly longer than the bottom part. I'm using two more fluffy socks, and the bottom one here is actually dark gray, not black. Turn the first sock inside out and trace the chainsaw template onto the heel area. I try to use the natural edges of the sock whenever possible because this reduces your sewing time. 
Then I'm backstitching along the lines and leaving the bottom side open for now. Now I'm going to shove the cardboard template inside the sock and close up the hole. This gives the piece a lot more structure, which is particularly important for this design. Nobody wants Pochita with a flimsy chainsaw. The size of this fits perfectly over the toe of the darker sock, so there's no sewing involved for the next step. Just cut out the toe part and trim the fabric along the curve. Add a generous amount of glue to the edges and stick the chainsaw blade into place. The side you're working on probably looks neater than the reverse, so flip it around and trim the edges. Once the glue is completely dry, attach this onto Pochita using a ladder stitch. This might be a bit trickier because of the cardboard inside, but make sure to sew up and down both sides so the chainsaw is firmly secured. I'm going to use embroidery thread for the mouth, but there are honestly so many different methods for adding details. You can use fabric felt or even paint. If you're using thread, then sew the mouth shape using a simple running stitch, then go back and fill in the gaps. I recommend doing this two times to make the line thicker, and you can see the difference between the two sides here. To make the eyes, I'm cutting out two circles from white sock fabric. You can use some glue to hold these in place, but it's really important to stitch around the edges as well. As you can probably see, these socks produce a huge amount of fluff. Sewing the edges is the best way to control it, and anything with a raw fabric edge really needs to be stitched down. I'm actually sewing around the circle twice, just to make sure all the fluff is contained. My original plan for the pupil was to use black sock fabric, but I realized the shape is a bit too tiny and the edges are going to lack definition. Then I thought of using black felt fabric, but I actually ran out of felt right in the middle of this DIY. So I'm going to do something which I tend to avoid, which is using acrylic paint. I always felt that painting onto fabric takes away some of the tactile nature of a plushie, but in this case it turned out to be the right decision. It was easier than I expected because the paint sticks down the fluffy fabric, so I was able to get some very crisp lines. This is useful for Pochita because the black parts of the pupils need to come really close to the edge of the eyes. The final step is to make both chainsaw handles. This should be the same color as the chainsaw blade, so grab whichever sock you used for that. Turn it inside out and press it flat. Then draw on a handle shape. I only had this white chalk, which is a bit hard to see, but this is roughly what you want. Then backstitch along the lines and cut it out. As you can see, I left this side of the handle open and I'm using this to turn the piece the right way around. This feels a bit flimsy, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of stuffing just to give it some structure. Don't overdo the stuffing here, otherwise the handle is going to lose its shape. And lastly, I'm ladder stitching both sides onto Pochita's back. To make the second handle, we're going to use a different method. This one is much smaller, so the previous technique won't produce a good result. Take the top of the sock and roll the edges down once. Then sew along the edge so that it creates a thick band. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage, but just enough to prevent the sock from unrolling. Cut this out and then open it up to create a handlebar shape. As you can see, this piece is dropping a lot of fluff, so once you've attached it to Pochita's butt, you have to go back and sew along all the raw edges. The smaller the stitches, the less fluff is going to come out. And now Pochita is done. This plushie takes a few hours to make, but each step is not overly difficult. So set aside enough time and be sure to watch my other video if you're not familiar with stitching techniques. And of course, you can leave out the chainsaw and handles and simply use this body shape for a different character. These sock plushies make really fun and cheap Christmas gifts, and I have a ton of tutorials linked below. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye! This is one of the rare times when I actually have two videos filmed, so here's a preview of the next one. I'll be trying out this weird material called jelly sand, which became very popular on Korean DIY channels. You can use it to create different characters using only water. 
so please be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And of course, if the video is already out, then I'll have it linked as a card in the corner.